hello and welcome back so guys I'm just gonna install the chart to the dashboard which is really necessary to create a perfect dashboard so here I'm just creating a chart or actually um, implementing a chart so for this purpose I have to open the website uh, I'm just downloading the chart from the float okay I'm using the float chart the, f the float charts and then the website is about to open in minutes now it's there I'm just clicking on plot attractive JavaScript plotting for jQuery and just clicking on the version 0.38.3 and opening this one now you can see that uh, the flood charts now just click on the open folder and now this is a flood chart just copy this one and go to the desktop where your application has been placed this is the inventory let's just paste the flood chart here this is the file which we just downloaded from this link so now just close this one or maybe we will need this later on right now just click on the extract to float 0.8.3 I just do this just cut this one the inner file and paste there and remove this one and the zip file as well because exactly we don't need them anymore so now this is the float charts files whatever this is example file if I just open the basic usage and just open the index to HTML so this is the basic chart as you can see looking perfect you can create any chart whatever you prefer so right now I'm just going there and now you can see that this one is a chart if I just open the uh, the file here in the notepad now you can see that it has any specific function first of all it's implemented the jQuery it then implemented the jQuery .js. the flat.js is the main file which is there uh, which is actually here if I just go to the basic usage and just click on plot and there is the flat dot jquery.flat.js and the jquery.flat.min.js I'm just gonna use the flat.js only then if you just want to apply other ones you can like pi like time like symbol stack and selection EDC but I just don't want all of them I just want the flat.js the simple the basic usage so what I need to do I'm actually not making the complete flat because this is kinda JavaScript so I'm just simply copying this one the script and applying the script here in the index.html where I just want to apply the flat chart and just pasting this file here okay now the second thing is I have to attach this file the uh, flat.js to this folder actually you know that the jQuery is already there so just simply duplicate this one now just find out the path here is the folder where is the folder here it is okay the flat is there this is the this is the index to dash email and now first we have to access on the float and then the jQuery dot float dot js so let's just type now we are not going to the js folder okay we're going to the float then the jQuery dot float dot dot js okay the js is automatically implemented implemented already and I'm not gonna use the min version the minified version so this is perfect and what more we need we just apply this one the jQuery function the complete function which actually runs the flat and I'm removing this one the type which is not necessary nowadays so go back and actually we have applied the jQuery.js the flat.js example.css is not necessary because this is just for the example page uh, just for the styling of this page which we just don't need now what the last thing is you can see that where it's applied it's applied by using the plot place holder okay and then d1 d2 and d3 why these three because there are a lot of more charts you can see so what I need to do more is to just simply copy this one I'm just copying or this is not necessary to copy we can create this div but no problem I'm just copying this one and going after the uh, the complete uh, uh, column MD2 I'm just going in the MD10 and just pasting this there and now saving and going to the browser and refreshing I'm not getting anything that means something wrong so what is the reason it's not working there mm. Mm, I yeah I understood the reason here is the placeholder and we have to go to the top and here I'm just creating the style tag which is necessary yeah I, ju I just forgot to add this thing and just we, we just need the placeholder 
height and width now I just added the height and width here as you can see that the placeholders width should be 500 and the height should be 300 so let's just refresh that page now you can see that the placeholder has been applied now what more I'm just gonna do is I'm just actually adding the placeholder inside the specific panel so now going down and where is the placeholder here is the placeholder I'm just creating the div well something more before the before doing this something more I just want to do I'm just going to the top and you know that the only file is the plot.js I'm using so I'm just going to the inventory folder and inside the plot I'm just co copying the plot.js because I'm not using all of them I'm going back and just pasting the file inside there and renaming the file name as removing the jQuery and only the plot.js so now removing all that thing just typing uh, js slash plot.js now refresh now everything is fine that means the plot is in the js folder and simply delete the whole plot chapter we do not need this anymore only that file so now let's just close this one because this file is no more and refresh that one everything is working fine that means perfect going there yeah I just don't want to work on anymore so now what more I need to do is to create the panel here I'm just creating the panel okay the div here and then here the class panel adding in this and for now I'm just applying this style as panel default going inside and then creating a div here adding a class panel heading duplicate this should be the panel body and this should be the panel footer so now just simply save that and actually here just add the heading that uh, just like the main yeah or I think the daily chart now that's perfect I'm just creating another div here class of call MD6 okay right now I'm just creating the 6 again inside the call MD10 and just cutting this one and pasting inside this okay now the time is to check this in the browser so go to the browser and refresh We're looking perfect but one more thing which I just need to do is to cut this one and paste inside the body and refresh now the chart is in the body but actually it's going out of the body because of the charts size so it should be the 8 save and refresh looking perfect just need to manage some kind of alignment a little bit so I'm just going to the top and this should be the 600 refresh now looking exact perfect now you can use your chart whatever you have well I think that I, sh I should not use the footer here so I'm just going back to the browser to the notepad and removing the panel footer saving and going to the browser now it has no footer I'm looking really perfect so what more I'm just doing is to adding some kind of space there just be be before the panel before the panel just creating another div okay and they're adding, adding a class or instead of the class adding this simple as tile and adding with 50 px height oh spelling mistake height 50 px save and go to the browser and refresh now it got oh my cut that and paste this here refresh the problem was really simple that I didn't add the ending tag now refresh that is the thing which I just wanted to create and I've created so now what more I need to do is it looking perfect with this specific space I think the height should be 30 px save and looking more perfect than the previous one now what I should add here in this hand in the, in the right hand I think some kind of alerts or the notification I'm just setting the notification there so now just going down here removing the extra spaces and this is the call md10 here I'm just creating another md another column and the class I'm just creating as call md4 now what I'm just creating here the group ul li and here I'm just typing list 
sorry about that first I need to add the class uh, then the other things so by the way I'm just adding the class list group and then going inside and adding the ally okay and then adding the class list group item and here I'm just adding that uh, notifications okay well I'm just thinking to do some interesting things it should be the notification and here I'm just adding the badges sorry the uh, the span cover and add the class of badge here class B A D G E badge and add the value for example the 9 now save and go to the browser and refresh now I got the 9 notification looking super I think just duplicate this one and then the messages okay here I'm just heading the 22 save and then refresh now 22 messages looking super duplicate and then here I'm just adding the new clients okay there I'm just adding only three save and then refresh now looking super I think this area is going to be perfect and the new suppliers you can add anything as the info there suppliers new suppliers I'm just adding as the seven and then duplicate this one and what more I can add there the suppliers the clients the um, new sales so simply type the new sales or I think the latest sales and here the or I think the better is to type today sales and the today purchases that is super save and go to the browser and refresh now this is looking the perfect one which I just want so what more I think uh, you think I should do I'm just going down and actually just going after this one inside this column md10 just after this uh, 8 and 4 I'm just creating another new div because I'm just gonna put some more things here but I think I should start the class from I should start from the next class so right now just creating the basic things I'm just typing the MD12 because this is a new raw this is actually the new raw because the column is getting the whole columns the whole width so guys we'll start from this step in the next class stay tuned and goodbye